The Bible says we should die daily as Christians should die daily. But me, I count my step daily. If I should miss a single step, I'm on the floor. Instead of taking left and I mistakenly take the right step on the floor, there's no there's no way I can stop it. Or if it's normal people, they will stagger. You mean no? On the floor. This was the greatest which I ever had, and I've been asking God, but it's as if God is not hearing. Is that she just gave me thirty seconds to just walk with my two legs without putting my hand? I wish it. I so much wish, like, okay, let me just walk and not put the hand. But anytime I mistakenly put the hand this way, and there's no, there's no, I want to stop it. Oh, what's happening? Ah, uh, okay. There's no, I won't do it. I'll just go on the floor. So imagine you falling on the floor and people are like, oh, you are like, she what happened, mommy? Something like that. But. I could also dust off myself. My name is Oluwa Shegun Steven Samagbeye. The Samagbeye is spelled S-A-M-A-G-B-E-Y-I. -A -E so you not pronounce it anyhow. Samagbeye. Even if I go for an interview, that's how I do. I'll just I'll spell it out. So now, if you want to call my name, you don't just call me Steven, it's Oluwa Steven. Most of my friends now, it's Oluwa Steven. Oluwa Shegun Steven Samagbe. So I removed that O L U W A. Oluwa, put Steven there. So then you call me Oluwa Steven. So you're like, Oluwa Steven, Oluwa Steven. I got that name from a friend. I'm from Ondo State. I'm an Ila German from the Riverside. I was born and brought up in Abuja my schooling, everything there. So I only came to Lagos 2013 for further education. Currently, I'm working with Bagan Czech International as a data analyst. I work in the operation department. We do screening. So do I want to do more? Yes. I want to go higher? Yes. So there's, 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 Space for improvement, there is space for a new level, a new challenge. So, I mean, I'm a cool guy. I'm this jovial person. I'm a jovial person, but I can be a bit quiet. Like then, when some visitors comes in to visit, we're just going to the room, lock myself inside. And they don't go, come outside. So I'm that kind of person. I love my privacy. I just want to be alone. The Bible says it is not good a man to be alone, but for now, to <laughs> be alone before I find my missing ribs. I have this, this fear like me approaching a lady and the lady was like, oh, who's this one? What are you doing here? Things like that. So best, best, best is just not to even say it, but just keep it to myself. Well, and, and some that you will tell and they will think, this guy, this is a joking. So jokingly, I will say it. But you think I'm joking, but I've said it. I just feel that they don't see my heart. Only what some of them are saying is just the look of it. So that's fine. So I love cooking. That's one of my best hobbies. If you wait me any time, any day, I'll cook beans for you. <laughs> any time, any day. The white beans, the red beans, they were low in, they were gone, they were low to beans and bread, beans and rice, beans and yam. Just any beans and combination. I have this philosophy like, no one can cook beans for me and I'll be satisfied. So no matter how you do it, no matter, I will shout tell you, hey, hey, something is missing here. He said that, I will say, hey, the salt is too much here. The oil, one place, oil, day, one place, oil, no day. You see, oil, oh, red oil. So me, I put enough for oil. So I don't like to eat beans that is not be looking like something like, you know, they show roll of his 
one of my skills that my beans is more soft. So you just eat porridge beans, not that you use your teeth, start cooking the beans again. Kind of wallaby now. So why, 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 why am I getting the gas? In my mom we say, I just could or I rock better. So me, I put more onions. Pepe. My own beans you must get pepe. But not the extreme pepper. I share the pepper soup beans like that. Some people is like, ah, beans, they once they eat beans too much or too fast, they'll be podgy. In Lua Steven. Mm -hmm. I eat it morning, afternoon, evening, anytime. Mm. And spiritually, I'm an intercessor. I love praying. I love praying. I love praying. I love praying, praying, praying. <laughs> I love praying, I love church, I love worship, I love music, I love singing. I dance a lot. Despite anything, I, I dance. I'm a fine, I'm a fine, I'm a fine guy. If, 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 if I can use that word, I'm a fine guy. How have life been? Life has been in two ways. It has been good and it has been unfair. This is why I am. There are some things I want to do that I can't do. That to me is unfair. And there are some perspective that people see about you or hear about you and they just judge you that way. You're not even getting to know who I am. The only thing you see is my look and you finalize everything. So that is the unfair part of life. It's not their fault. When I do things and people are like, who did this? And like, Steven. Hmm? Steven? That guy. Oh. Some people, even from the core, from our conversation, I don't know that, okay, this guy is limping or this guy is having a bad leg or so. Not until when they see me physically. So like, oh, are you kidding me? Are you serious? So my, my talk, our interaction, everything has covered the other side. So some of them ask me, where is this energy coming from? Where is this energy coming from, man? That's what I want. That's the good part I want. I want I, like what I do, what I say, the way I joke, the way I dance, the way I worship, the way I pray. People were like, oh, oh. So we are not just seeing the physical guy, we are seeing the extraordinary. Born to the family of Mr. and Mrs. Samagbeyi, S-A-M-A-G-B-E-Y-I. According to the story they told me, that day of delivery, it was seven and nine. It was painful that the doctor said I had to do operation, I had to do this and do that, and the baby was not forthcoming out. My mommy is almost passing on. No, if the thing was just wah, 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 wah. But somehow, somehow, sir, Oluwa Steven came out. 
and not don't care. So there's this thing you back call Ige. Ige means a child that was born with leg, that came out with leg. It was difficult me coming out with leg, and they will have to try to pull and together just to make sure. So I came out, and the doctors and nurses were telling my my mom to tell my dad, oh my dad, sha, that my dad should go and keep her up for this. Keep up with this woman, no? make sure you keep up with this woman. This woman is a strong woman, something like that. And within two to three years, I was sick and I was admitted at the General Hospital, Kariki. We spent like a week to two weeks there while my mom was still even sleeping on the floor. And oh, I don't want to go this way. <laughs> okay. And you know, through the injection, the drugs, and everything, and everything, and everything. We were discharged after the two weeks. Getting home, this baby that is, this jovial, this baby that is running around, this baby that is, you know, just went cold. And they noticed I would walk from year to year. I would just fall down. Bam! They noticed, what's happening? This baby is not working the usual way. What's happening? My parents was like, oh, we need to go back to the hospital. And find out what happened. That was maybe after two or three weeks or a month after or so. So I'm getting to the hospital. They did all the tests and everything and just found out that during the process, there was a nurse that was attending to me and she injected the wrong vein. And that's the left part. So she injected the wrong vein and it paralyzed that leg completely. So that was where the journey started. Ah, how come so my dad was like, we'll sue the hospital, we'll do this, we'll do that, we'll do that. But somehow, somehow, they stopped the sue stuff of it and, okay, what's the next solution? We advised to come to a pardon, UCH pardon. So I can remember, so my mom coming every month to UCH pardon for checkup. That was when they did the caliper. The caliper is like an iron. I wear, I wear the iron. There's a bed here, I will bet this place. The shoe, the shoe will be my size. If I'm wearing size 40, yeah. And the sole is like two or three inch, this one will be like six to seven inch. Just to meet up the other leg. Because it got to a point. This the left leg was not growing anymore. It's only the right leg. So from there I got the caliper and I started putting on that caliper. And that is from that that is from when I now noticed like, oh, this is this is so reality is done on me. Oh boy, this is you. And that is when I begin to define what life is. You know, imagine a, a child of 16 years. Your mommy is still backing you. I can never forget. I don't want to do this. Okay, so I was like, without that stuff, maybe we are going out and it rain. My daddy would just carry me. He asked me to pull it off and he would just back me up. So no matter what, they would not allow me to walk. So that was it done on me that this guy, you are limited. There's limitation before you. You know, when when you see your siblings doing some things you cannot do, you know, your siblings going for party and they wouldn't put you inside. Your siblings doing this and doing that, and your friends, ah, Stephen, let's go and do it. But you can't do it because you have a limit. So that that alone is my first issue that brought this spirit of low self-esteem. So I had this low self-esteem for years. Years. Yes, 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 yes. That's even when my friends say, okay, let's go out. I'll not go. Because I don't want anybody to like insult me. Where your leg day? You don't forget your leg for house. So people are now seeing me wearing the iron like it's part of me. So without the iron, without that caliper, it's not like would work. They're like, okay, I'll go and carry your iron. So my mom even beat the hell out of me. Go and carry it. So it's like, so without this stuff, I mean I can't work, I can't do things. So that has been it, it, it's so painful. It's, I, 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 I see like something that is unfair. Okay, fast forward those 16, 15 years and my mom is still back me. This is, I'm, this is I'm talking, I'm talking about just three then. Because I had delay in school also. So it's just three. Imagine a just three boy. They are backing you. It's like. 
So I, I, I got into secondary school. I attended um, Federal Science and Technical College, Oroz Abuja, from SS1, SS2, SS3. So at my SS2, I said, Oga, this stuff, it ain't no no for me. I remove it, I throw it under my bunk. I don't move a like, What's going on? So I I not tell my mom because I know if I should tell her, she will beat the living day out of me. So I I stopped using it. So I started using my hand. I started bending, bending. The first day I went to assembly ground, people was like, what was happening? But second day, third day, fourth day, and from then to now, no cause of using it. So when, when I was going home after the midterm break or so, I just folded the stuff. I move everything. Packaged everything, I took it home. So there was like, what on heaven just happened? I was like, I'm not using it again. Then they said, that is my big truth. I was like, I'm not using this again, no matter what. I'm not, I'm, I can imagine me, a 17, 19, 18 years old boy using, for what? I'm not using it again, something like that. So my mom understood and like, okay, but you know, this is going to give you some extra issue, which I know. With that caliper, I can stand upright and relax. Mm because I'm having a support system, but without the stuff, I'm standing on one leg. So standing on that leg, so she understand, even my daddy understood that, ah, on one day, it's not going to be easy, but I said, oh, let me do it. So ever since then, I've not been using the caliper, I've not used any walking stick, nothing, just my hand. And it has been challenging, Oh my goodness. Whew. It has been challenging. Really big challenge. Sometimes I'll fall on the express. Sometimes I'll fall on the floor, on the streets. Sometimes I'll fall inside the gutter using the hand. But it's the best decision for me. And I thank God for some of my friends that have known me that they know my limits. They know that, hey, Stevie, it's okay. Huh? First of all, deep ball. Deep ball, deep ball is like, Oga, okay. Tito. That is okay. So because Deepo work with Bobby. And Deepo is a, is a loving guy. I love that guy. Deepo went to the he went to the extent of he called one of his senior doctor like Bobby that he has this friend that's so so and so so and so that is anything we can do. I, I was like, oh on level, who asked you to go do all those things? But it was not even Koromi. Co he was one that he just wants solution. He just wants the best for me. Like I said, I love him because I know he just wants the best for me. So after the doctor interviewed me and I was like, eh, Steven, how can we help you? Can we build you some crutches? Can we do some surgery? I was like, yes, in my, in my, you know, in my mind. No, 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 cancel, cancel. But in my mouth, I was saying, yes, ma. Oh, yes, ma, I'll come and see. Yeah, yeah. Mm, but I uh, no. So I was just, Flowing with everything but in my mind. Anything crutches, anything getting a witch here, but oh, I don't want it. Out of 100% of my friends, maybe just 2 or 3% that even know the story. Not because they don't care to ask. I know some of them want to ask, I know for sure, but Stephen has not given them the reason to. You know, they, they, they say, oh, you say, oh, I'm sick today, my leg is paining me. Uh, people want to come, oh, what happened to your leg? Hey, hope you're... You know, I'm not giving them that. So, Alpha, a day. Even when I know they, a day. It didn't stop, a day. But deep down, I'm feeling the pain. I did not paint it for them. I painted something else for them. I did not paint this low self esteem guy. I did not paint the. The scar. I did not show them the scar. But, it, but as the scar gone, no, it's still there. With the pain, it's still there. Yes, 100%. This issue of timidity, feeling timid, it's still there. Yes. Self esteem, some, some, small, small, is it still there? Yes. But is that going to stop me? No. I can go to the, what's it called? I can go to my secret place and do all my crying, do all my pity face, but when I'm going out, Going out like this lion. Ah, Stevie is here. So when you see me, you see that spiritual side of me. You see the dancing side. You see everything. Blah, blah. The best they can do is like, 
how are you doing it? Like, like Precious, Precious said, Mr. Steven, how are you doing it? You know that, how? If honestly, me, I don't know the how. And Michelle Mokwe, I shall know that. I'm sure I'm doing it. In church, I may not be able to stand for that five, ten minutes, like I'm saying. I'll just have to find a way to sit. But once you give me the mic and I'm on the pupit on the other, I can stand to us. My brother, The Lord is in this place. But let me tell you, after I come down at two hours. It is me, myself, and I. <laughs> it is me and the leg. So that is the grace I've received. So God has been the, the, source, the source of my strength. And I get back in. Ah, because I'm no more back. Can't touch the bottom. So this car is still there. It's still there, gone. Still looking like fresh like yesterday. But is he limiting me? Nope. Is he stopping me? Nope. Is it a challenge? Yes. Never been so easy. Before I saw it like a limitation. Losing my ah, this is who you are. This is where you, you need to be. This is where the people put you. But I'm not seeing it that way now. So I've, I've seen it beyond before. that. I've seen it like a stepping stone. I was waiting in the undertow Set a drift with fed away like bones Unaware of where my heart would flow I was waiting in the undertow I know I'm a blessed child. A lot of nights and... Ooh. Okay. Okay, a lot of nights I pray and I cry like God. Are you sure you are God? Show me, Lord. Oh, son of David, have mercy, Lord, for me. Help me. But I've come to understand that me being like this does not mean that I'll be like this forever. In the spiritual realm, I'm not like this. I'm a complete person in Christ. So I'm not going to to the throne of grace. I'm not going to God as soon as it's late. I'm going like a full grown man that has received grace. There are some people that are not, their cases is not up to this. They are gone. They are a lot, a lot, a lot. Sometimes I go to a booby and I'll speak to and I'll see some people, they hang their leg. Some people off, cut, over hand, over leg. Like I said, I wish and I pray that I could walk for 30 seconds. Just to just die an happy man. That I walk without a crutches. That I walk without POP. I walk without putting my hand on my leg for 30 seconds. At least that would that would be my own Guinness Book of Record. I hear me, Bola Fungo, Jason. Emi mi fogo fun o Jesu Oba to ni mi to da mi to mo mi o Oba to ni mi to da mi to mo mi o Jesu Oba to ni mi to da mi to mo mi o Oba to ni mi to da mi to mo mi o E Okay, what's next?